Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled man had been cured, while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, the priest, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They laid, laid hands on Peter and John and put them in custody until the next day, since it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word came to believe, the, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. On the next day, their leaders, elders, scribes, were assembled in Jerusalem with Annas and the high priest Caiaphas, John Alexander, and all who were in the high priestly class. They brought them into the presence and questioned them, by what power or what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them, leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, who you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become a cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God. He has given us light. The stone. Elders has become the stone. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon, Peter, Thomas, called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two other of his disciples. 
Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, we also will come with you. So they, went, so they went out, got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not recognize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, no. So he said to them, cast the net over the right side of the boat and you will find something. So they cast it and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment for he was lightly clad and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on the shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish you caught. So Simon Peter went over, dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. <clears throat> Jesus said to them, come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. In several of the accounts of the resurrected Jesus to his disciples, Jesus appears eating with them. The disciples on the way to Emmaus yesterday, in the locked room, today on the seashore. And of course, our first thought goes to our gathering this morning. Jesus is present with us to nourish us and to feel us feed us, that our celebration is you, at the Eucharist is a meal with the risen Christ. What Jesus did with his disciples those many years ago, he does for us. He shares the food at his table, offers his presence, and like those disciples, that we are invited to recognize his presence in the breaking of the bread. Calling on God's presence in this time of prayer, we join our intercession. That all who serve the church may be inspired <laughs> and strengthened by the truth of the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord, our prayer. prayer. That government leaders may be moved by the Spirit by promoting policies that protect the sanctity of life in all stages, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who feel lost or overwhelmed by circumstances may be sustained and strengthened by God's love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those of us gathered here may grow in holiness and compassion through the grace of the word and sacrament in this festive season. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who have died in Christ may be raised to celebrate with him in glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. And today our special intention is for special blessings upon Valerie Manning, Don Roberts, and Lynn Roberts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. For the prayers written in our book of remembrance, those we have been asked to pray for and those we lift up from the depths of our hearts. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Pour forth your blessings upon us, O Lord, and hear the petitions we offer you this day through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. My sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to our God, the Almighty Father. Yes. 
Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rise of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and to all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Christ. Keepsake, O oh Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that, redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. 